Hey guys, I'm George from eCommerce Mentoring and today we're going to talk about how you can improve your conversion data on Facebook ads after iOS 14 in just a few simple steps. Let's get into it. Okay, so as you all know, after iOS 14 hit, it became a lot harder to track all your conversions on Facebook because of a privacy update that Apple did on their side that makes it a lot harder for the Facebook pixel to track every single event, right? Well, fortunately, there are a few solutions available that can help you solve this problem. Some of them are external apps, but the main things that you should be doing don't even require any external apps. They just require a few simple steps to go through on Facebook, on your ads manager, where you can set up your conversion events and make sure that your conversions actually get reported from the conversions API and not just the pixel. Okay, so first off, what is the conversions API? Conversions API is a, an API that was developed by Facebook with a few partners, including Shopify, that allows the partner servers, so Shopify, to report directly to Facebook on the conversion data. So you don't rely on the pixel to give you every single piece of information because unfortunately Safari and Apple iOS, you know, is now blocking a lot of the information that gets reported by the pixel. But if it's reported on the server side by Shopify, there is no way for Apple to block it, or at least it's a lot more, um, it's a lot more reliable for you to have all the data, or at least the majority of your data reported into your ads manager, right? So, first thing that I want to talk about is how to properly set up the conversions API so that you have your Shopify partner integration communicating with Facebook and reporting your conversion events in this way rather than just relying on the pixel right so without further ado let's get into the business manager and I'll show you exactly everything that you need to do okay so we're on Shopify now and the first thing that you're gonna to want to do is to add your sales channel here this is just a uh, a sample store with the Shopify trial so it's not a real store but um, it's meant to explain exactly how you can go through these steps and improve your conversion data because obviously on my store I already have all of this set up so you know I couldn't just do it from scratch to show you guys how it's done okay so the first thing that we want to do is we want to click the sales channel add the Facebook sales channel it's not on here because I've already added then you just click it here you redirect to the Facebook app right here. You just say yes to all of this. You update sales channel. You include the Facebook app. So you should already have this if you're running ads on Facebook. But in case you don't, it's just a quick example of how to do it. And um, let's wait for it to load. Okay. Now it's done here. What we want to do is we want to click Facebook marketing, start setup. Now we want to connect our Facebook account, so we're going to click here. We're going to connect our Facebook account. I'm just going to quickly log into my Facebook account here. Yep. Then we're going to select our business manager here. This is a business manager that I created to explain you guys how this works here. So I'm going to connect my business manager. Now domain verification, this is the domain that I have here. We're going to have to verify the domain. So we're going to click here. We're going to confirm. Okay, so there's, it's taking a while for me right now to, to do this domain verification. Now, bear in mind, this is not necessary. You don't have to do it through the app. There is a way to do this um, outside of the app. So it's actually faster. I'll show you how to do that. So for now, we'll just skip this. Then we want to connect our ad account in here, connect our Facebook page, um, connect our data sharing, which is the pixel. It's going to create a new pixel for you. And um, for the target country, we just choose United States and we move on. So that's our app setup. Our pixel is going to be created by this app. So after this, all we need to do is to get into our business manager. So I'm just going to hop on the business manager now. So once you're in the business manager, I'm going to refresh because I don't think that the app verified the domain here. 
Okay, so the domain is right here. So that's the domain that the app was trying to verify. I'm going to show you how to verify the domain real quick. So all you need to do is you need to click verify domain. And you're going to see that. Yep, boom, it's verified because the app already did it, right? It's that simple. If it doesn't work for you for some reason, if the app messes up, which sometimes it does, all you got to do is you do the HTML verification and it's going to give you a little piece of code, HTML code that you can copy and you just copy that code. <clears throat> Excuse me. You come to online store and you click edit code in here, right? In your theme. Very simple. You just come to your theme.liquid file. And when you go under the header section here, you just make a new line and you copy. You know, I don't have anything, so I'm just writing this as an example, but you copy the code that you got from Facebook into this section here, into the header section, and you save, and that's it. After you've done this, you just go back, you click the verify domain button, and it's going to be verified because it's going to be able to see that you've already added this piece of code to your website. Right, so that's the domain verification done. Okay, so the next thing that you need to do is you need to go to your events manager. <clears throat> And you're not going to want to set up the conversions API, which is the partner integration that we were talking about. So, so you click your pixel to do that. It's very simple. You go to settings and you use your partner integration right here. Just set up through partner integration, choose a partner, Shopify. You say that you've completed the setup on Shopify because you've done the, everything that you needed to do with your Facebook app. You go here, you enter your um, domain in here so your website url and you click confirm and that's it so your partner integration is going to be set up after you do this so once you're done with the partner integration you're going to want to click this aggregated event measurement that's going to show up and then you're going to click manage events once you open this your event your your domain is going to be in here it's going to say verify and then you want to click here and you're not going to have any of these so you're going to have to click manage events and then you're gonna edit it. I obviously can't do that right now because it's already set up, but you just add your events in here to order of priority. So we want purchase, add payment info, initiate checkout, add to cart, view content, search. And then you just save that. Don't worry about the message that it comes up saying that um, it might affect your ads distribution because you know you shouldn't be running ads anyway if you don't have this correctly set up. So this is how you set up the conversions API. Right. Once you've done this, Shopify is going to be communicating directly with your ads manager and it's going to be reporting the events directly without relying only on the pixel. Now, this works uh, pretty well. Facebook has been improving it a lot recently, but it doesn't work for everyone, unfortunately. Some people still have issues after setting up the conversions API. Now, if that's your case, there are alternatives and that's what we're going to talk about next. Right. There are a few external apps alternatives to the conversions API that is meant by Facebook that can also help report the events from your uh, website to your ads manager. We're going to hop into my computer now and I'm going to show you a few of these apps that you can use to help you if the Facebook conversions API isn't working for you. Okay, so the first app that I want to talk about is uh, Trackify, right? Trackify is a paid app. It's not free. Uh, it starts at $29.99 a month, but it has a, um, a free trial. Um, I'll put a link in the description so you can um, use the link to get your free trial. Um, and you can check it for seven days. And, you know, by seven, by the seventh day, you'll have a good idea of if your conversions data has improved or not when you're using Trackify. Now, this is a very simple um, app to set up. You just click start your free trial, you install your app and um, you'll be ready to go in no time. You just have to enter a few details like your pixel, which you can get very easily from your events manager. And, um, and that's pretty much it. You just log in with Facebook and it's going to communicate with your business manager. Now, keep in mind one important thing. Uh, both of these apps, Trackify and the app that I'm gonna show you next, they do not stack with the Facebook app. So this Facebook app here that we've just installed needs to be removed if you're going to be using Trackify or the other app because there's going to be duplicated events if you're using both at the same time, right? So very simple. What you need to do is just go to apps. You look at your Facebook app right here. You click delete, understand, 
you need to delete the Facebook app, right? And now you're ready to install Trackify and the other app that I'm just going to be talking about right now. So remember, very important, if you don't remove the Facebook app or at least stop the pixel from reporting data, you will have duplicate events because it's going to be Trackify and the Facebook conversions API, both reporting the events at the same time and that is not good you're going to get duplicate events your data is going to be inaccurate so make sure you remove the facebook app before you install this now the second app is this one right here multi facebook pixels and this is another alternative to trackify this one is cheaper still has the seven day trial so you can still try it out and see if it works and then make a decision on whether you want to stick with it or not but it's also very easy to install. You know, they, they give you all the, the information. You just need to enter your uh, pixel ID and enter a script on your checkout. So um, you'll, be, you'll be up and running in no time. And um, you have the seven day trial to see if your conversion data is going to improve or not. So these two solutions have been you know, working very well. Among one or the other, you will find one that will uh, improve your conversion data and will um, solve the problems that iOS 14 brought about in terms of tracking your, your conversion events. So that's it for today's video. You can use these two apps here to improve your conversion events being reported to the Facebook Ads Manager. You can also use the Facebook Conversions API I'd recommend that you test that out first and see if it works for you. If not, then you can try Trackify and Omega, but first try the Conversions API that Facebook is uh, recommending because they have been improving it. It's getting better since the iOS 14 update. So for most of you guys, I'm sure that the Facebook Conversions API is gonna be all you need. So just get into the habit of getting everything set up before you start running ads so you won't waste any money on untracked data and um, you know, this way you'll be able to um, evaluate your results, your metrics a lot more reliably and really minimize the impact that iOS 14 has had on your uh, Facebook ads. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>